How's it going guys? This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us. We're going to talk about TeamViewer today. I believe this, is re this was a request video a few days ago. And uh, we're going to be connecting through TeamViewer. It's freeware. You can check it out at teamviewer.com. I'll try to put that link down below. It's free for personal use and I think for business use you would have to pay to use it. But uh, this is obviously personal use here at my house. These computers are two feet apart. They're connected to the same network, but that's not a requirement. You can do it between any two in connections to the internet. I've controlled my MacBook Pro, my ThinkPad, Mac, Windows. I don't know if it's uh, Linux or Ubuntu compatible, um, but they have an I, uh, iOS application as well. So your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iPad, it'll work over that as well. So with over over 3G, I can actually connect my iPhone to my, I, to my MacBook Pro or the ThinkPad here and remote control them, which is very cool. So once you've downloaded the software, go ahead and open it up, and it looks like this. It's a pretty small file, opens pretty quickly. Here it is. And then it's going to give you a number, which, um, by the way, the two numbers you see on my screen will not be um, available to you anymore as I will have changed them because I know somebody will just try to get into me, but it won't work. So you get an ID. You have an ID for you, and then if you want to connect to somebody, this is a two-way application. Somebody can connect to you and control your computer, or you can connect to somebody else and, and control their computer. But uh, that number right there, right now, is my ThinkPad. So if I were to want to, con to connect to that, I can do a remote support, I can do a presentation over the software, which is nice, and then you can do a file transfer, which is also very nice, however, not very fast. So we'll just, we'll just do remote support, connect to partner, and then it wants a password. If you don't um, specify a password, it'll be like a four-digit number. I have actually specified a password since I use this all the time. We'll just go ahead and log on. So there it is, two feet away. It is not high quality at all, as I've told it not to be. Quality, I have optimized speed. You can optimize the quality if you want to do a presentation, but then a lot of effects will be really slow. And on the ThinkPad screen over here, it uh, looks exactly like what you see right here. The graphics aren't quite that bad, but you can see if somebody were watching, you, you can see exactly what they're doing. So we'll just go ahead and open up Google Chrome here, as I do every night from my bed before I go to bed. Go to YouTube and I would upload the vlog just like this. Really quite nice. I can completely control the computer here. I can do a remote shutdown, do a file transfer from here. I can reboot. And if you tell the application from its settings, we'll go back over to uh, Team Viewer here, Team Viewer Preferences, I can tell the application to turn on when Windows, when Mac OS X starts, so it starts up with the with the operating system. So for example, I could just hit the power button on the ThinkPad, close the lid, go up to bed, and from the bed control, um, log into the machine, do what I want to do, tell it to shut down at X time using, of course, Windows. And you have all these options here that you could go into your partner list and, and stuff like that. Now if I go to view quality and then optimize quality, you're going to notice that I think it gives you arrow. Yeah, there it is. And it's definitely a little slow, but it does look better. You get transparency there. It's a little laggy. So not too bad at all. But back up to options here, you've got an alt control delete. You can disable the remote input. And uh, let's see, switch sides with your partner, which we'll do now. And now the Mac, uh, actually they give me an error here. There's multiple monitors and it's confused with which one to use. And it looks like I can actually switch back and forth. So now I'm controlling the Mac from the PC. Notice I, I'm not using my magic mouse. My magic mouse is right here. I'm actually using my ThinkPad to move around that Team Bureau window. And I'll minimize that file transfer and let's open up Finder. So that's all being done from the PC. Quality is not very good. I have it scaled or I have the quality set to optimize speed. We'll change optimize quality. Not, not, not like you can see this display, but it works just the same the other way. Very quick, definitely very usable. If I wanted to quit that, I could just come down here and quit the application, should somebody be doing something they shouldn't be. So there it is. But we'll go ahead and open it back up real quick. Real easy to use. Just tell somebody your ID and whatever password you've set or it's given you. That changes every time you open the application. and. Uh, Start controlling uh, other people's computers, obviously, for help. It probably isn't good if you tell your partner to open this up and send you their code and then just walk away for a little bit and nothing will happen, but, you know, that's your prerogative. So, cool application. It's free. It's super easy to use and definitely very helpful as well. So, that's my little review of Team Viewer here. Um, the download link I'll just put there. There's the link. Super easy. Thanks for watching the video, guys. My website is techinform.us. My Twitter, my personal Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The business Twitter is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then catch us live on Tuesday, Tuesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. 
Thanks for watching the video. I'll speak with you guys tomorrow.